Hey guys, I'm getting to the chat. Give me a second. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, Raleigh. <laughs> Everybody's coming over from Glen Mink. Anybody watching Monday's video today? Pretty, I'm pretty upset. I'm like... Hey, Skokum. What's up? Okay. Still got jewelry on. Hey, Poppy. How many of y'all watch Grace, Jason Christopher? It's like a show of hands. Sorry, I got like clips in my hair. I'm like all uncomfortable. Hey, Scott Balo. Oh, I just got home not that long ago. Says, Skookum says, I do at times. He's personally okay, but I'm not sure about those working with him. Take him with a grain of salt, yeah. I don't know how many of you watched um, Unimundi, but I mean, the video he showed today really upset me because, I mean, he was basically showing, um, he was basically showing that, that Jason Christopher is a paid actor. And I knew, I mean, I knew he was an actor and I thought, you know, like, He's been in a lot of stuff, but I thought to myself, well, that doesn't mean he's not affected. And then when I watched that video, I was like, I don't know, I unsubscribed. So, or I'm about to. I don't like being programmed. Um, it's very upsetting to me to think, you know, and I really enjoyed a lot of his content, but, you know, when I saw that, it just really upset me. <laughs> he has charisma, yeah. I don't know if he is. He's been in a lot of stuff. I mean, he was a child actor. I mean, he's been acting since the 80s. Since the late 80s. Hey, goddess. What's up? But it's just, you know. I don't like. I don't like being lied to like that. You know, we, we have enough problems. You know, we're, we're trying to find like a safe space to, I don't know, to voice our opinions and, and things like that. Like we don't need that. I haven't seen it, but I noticed issues with live. Like he can't go unscripted. Yeah. Hey, Corey Jade. But you should watch the video because he was just like, I mean, Unimundi was really upset. Because he exposed him. He showed, he was like saying, um, oh yeah, you know, this is one of his first live stream where he went live, like and showed his face and it was with the phone, like a lot of us do. And then like the second time he showed his face, he was with, um, he was with another person and all of a sudden he has like, and he supposedly lost his job. But all of a sudden, he has a $400 microphone, two camera angles, 
and equipment he doesn't know how to use. You know, and I mean, really, all of the attacks to the 24 channels, the, you know, 24 7 channels started when he announced that, you know, MA was some kind of dark figure. So, I mean, he's, it's like, I mean, disruption from within. It's just, mm. yeah, Corey's like, I watched, you know, Monday's video, loved it. Finally, they are being exposed. Yeah. And see, like Jason Christopher, like, um, I mean, he messages me and, you know, I've, I've shared videos with him. I thought, oh, like, he's just this, you know, really like spiritually, like awake, like nice person. And he's just paying, get, you know, he's just doing a job. I don't know. It's just upset. And see, uh, my, and Corey's like, I'm glad the truth is coming out. I've been saying for a long time and people thought I was a bitch. And that's the thing. Like my husband, as soon as he found, as soon, he's like, I want you to take a look at something. And I was like, all right. So he showed me this picture of Jason Christopher as a small boy. You know, those parties that they used to have with um, like Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. And now Corey Feldman's coming out and saying, oh, those were like pedophile parties and all this stuff. He's at those parties. There are pictures of him at those parties. So, I mean, I feel really bad for him. He's been in the industry a very long time. Who knows what he's been through? But to sit here and, I don't know play this role with with real people it's one thing if you're putting yourself out there on a tv screen or in a movie or a television show but to sit there and play with like real people's like emotions is unacceptable to me <clears throat> yeah he was supporting matrix dude yep <laughs> Hello, Glenn Meek. What was it that I said that you that you thanked me for? I, I when I was watching you earlier, I was sitting there crocheting this. Wait, there's my thing. I was making this. I'm making a little um like pillow cover thing. I'm gonna make like a little round pillow, and this is gonna be bigger. And I don't know, I'm just making junk. So I was like halfway. So let's see. Poppy Elm, I wanted to believe that, but Shills from the beginning, yeah. And then Skookum says he's potentially great for us. He has the audience. He could do great things. But, and like Yuta Mundy, like in his video, he was saying when his channel was created, it was created with a thousand followers. Where did they come from? <laughs> he might be a part of that trauma, yeah. And that's the thing, he's continuing the trauma. You know, that's the thing. I, you know, I mean, I know, I know, I mean, I've, I've seen firsthand what those kids go through. Hey, Yuna Mundy, you're so awesome. Thank you for that video. Thank you so much. Because, you know, um, Jason Christopher is one of those people that like would message me and communicate with me. And I thought, this is a really sweet guy and, and all this stuff. And when I saw that, my jaw dropped. I cried. I was very upset because I felt very deceived. And I really want to thank you for putting that out there. Mm -mm. And, you know, that's another thing. I mean, it's just, it's not fair for people to sit there and profit off of, off of this. It's very upsetting to me. That he would sit there and reach out and like try to make friends and things like that. When he's getting paid to do what he's doing. And I mean, those videos, I mean, when you pointed it out, I mean, it just showed that he, and then when they were saying, maybe we should call Brian McFarland, he's, you know, he's in the tech industry. That upset me too. I was thinking, is that why his name changed? You know, I mean, it's just like. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> but that's the thing, you know, nothing, nothing that's covered can stay covered. It's going to be revealed. No, it made me mad though. Awake and Glenmeek, the King Arthur and Celtic talked. I talked some in between streams for a while with someone about it. It's shifting to different time periods. Hmm. Yeah, you know, Monday's real. That's the thing. But I'm so glad he opened my eyes. I mean, I just so mad about it. Truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off, right? Okay. And see, yeah, he understands the programming because he was raised to be a programmer, to be, he was raised with that white rabbit programming. You know? Corey J says he knows how to reel them in and it makes them feel wanted and, and important. Yeah. Just like, you know, just like all the stuff they're coming out with on Facebook, how, you know, they know they're programming your mind. They know that they're giving you these little rewards of, um, of brain chemicals every time you get a like on a photo and things, and they do it anyway. They knew what they were doing and they did it anyway. This being part of this matrix, you know, just furthering it along. It just makes me so mad. Hey, alone one. It says, hello everyone, these streams are going going right now. I like channel surfing, yeah. Plays on basic human once, Corey says. That's true. Skookum says, I think MA was a Roman soldier too, but didn't have the fun you had, Glenn. I'm telling you, yeah, I, I could see MA as a uh, Roman soldier. And Poppy Elm says, they can't hide. Eventually everyone sees it. That's, that's true. Usually everything that's hidden comes to light. God's not going to stand for that, you know? And I think, um, I think the matrix attempts to hide us from God. And I believe in God. And I mean, people can believe what they want to believe. That's just my personal belief. But, you know, I think it attempts to veil us or, or hide what it's doing here. They can't hide. Yeah, the programming is powerful. Many ways to trick people. And so then I started looking him up and he sits there and he, you know, he has, um, I, I mean, I know he's got like, you know, one of those actor pages I and mean, he's been in several uh, TV series. He's been in movies. He's been in the industry a long time. And then also he says that he um, is like a graphic designer, although there, he has no work out there. If you look at his, um, I mean, if you look at his, um, what is it, LinkedIn page, it says that, you know, he's done branding for Coca-Cola, for Disney, all this stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, I don't see any examples of his work. He founded like these two websites and he's still, you know, he does this one website where it's like um, he discovers uh, unknown talent. It's like one of those sites where you can sit there and register and get discovered so you can be in Hollywood. Awakened, uh, Glenn Mink. Martha, I said I might have been a super, Martha said I might have been a super soldier, yeah. And then I had some confirmation that I might have been killed in past timelines. How now is the question. I have memories of things to eventually share. Yeah, my poor husband. I mean, I, I can't sit there here and speak about um, some of the things that happened to him. I mean, I've been, I've spoke about some things, but I've been a little guarded because, you know, I don't want to spread his business like that. And Corey J says, I'd like to know what I was in my past life or in, you know, another, uh, in another version of this life. You know, in another dimension. I mean, people want to talk about space travel. I think it's interdimensional travel. That's my opinion. I can't prove it. Let's see. Yes, Gookum says get a past life regression. You may not like what you find, though. 
Puppy Elm says that the thunder is really bad here. I might lose you guys all. Lens V says, I think the message they put out and where they were going is more important than outing these people. And it's not about, I'm not really trying to out them. It just makes them look like a pissing contest. Yeah. I just, you know, I just feel kind of hurt just because, you know, I liked him so much. And, you know, I'm one of those people I'm just really trusting. Like, I always think that people are basically good. I just think that I guess because I'm basing it on my own human nature. Like, I just think people are good and loving, like at their core, you know, and that, and that they don't, you know, they don't set out to deceive others. And it's very hurtful when you feel like lied to. I just don't like that. I just don't like being lied to like that. Uh -oh. And Goddess at the 4 one says, Martha, I agree with that, too. That could be interdimensional. Oh, yeah. Aliens or demons. <laughs> I mean, Aleister Crowley, like, drew a picture of a demon, and it looks like a gray alien. Okay. Corey Jade. I've had different answers to that. One guy told me I was a Native American man. Another said I was a Celtic princess. Yeah. I mean, there are legends about... Um, like an Egyptian queen living in Ireland that my family used to talk about. Yeah, maybe you could have been both. Who knows? Maybe, you know, I mean, if we are in a simulated game, which I'm really starting to get in line with, um, I mean, the game could totally change. I mean, our consciousness could change. You know, just like when you go to philosophy 101 in college, I mean, they're, the first argument is, you know, prove you exist. Prove you don't exist. You can't. You can't do either. You know, you could, you could wake up into this reality right now with all these memories. I'm hoping it's not like that. Schism says there are actors in my family. I kind of have an idea of how they can be, yeah. See, and I had a daughter, well, my youngest daughter, she joined like theater and um, they wanted to put on some kind of play that mixed um, like, I don't know, it was just, it was kind of sacrilegious and it's a public school. So I went to the school and complained and, um, you know, she, they wanted her to do some kind of uh, like ritual before going on stage one time and she refused and then she wouldn't do it and I mean I don't know I just because that's the oldest form of the matrix really is I mean even Robert Wood has said that that's the oldest form of programming is storytelling and um, plays you know because they would get up there um, and you know act out things that they wanted to happen to change people's minds about things. Um, they used to do it with Kings. Like, you know, they would put on these plays about the King and it would change people's opinion of the King, you know, in, in medieval times or whatever. But all that sort of thing is, is a type of, I mean, it can be used as a type of spell casting, you know, I don't know. Who knows if that history even happened? <laughs> Glenn Minx says awakening is scary at first and then liberating it is I, f I feel more free than I ever have really alone one says if this life is any indication of past lives I'm a recluse and I take care of stray animals so it's probably a single farmer yeah <laughs> you know, Monday says thanks for the title. I mean, you just don't know. I mean, that just has really helped me. I'm I'm glad that you put that. I'm glad you put that out there. Because I mean, I don't want to be programmed. That's the point of this. You know, and I know you can't escape it a hundred percent. But if somebody is trying to contact you and you know, get your support, make friends with you. And they're a liar. 
I don't want to know that person. And I'm glad that you put that out there so, so that I can just avoid that person, you know? So at any rate, <sighs> what is M. Hobbs? <laughs> M. Hobbs was like, who are you guys discussing, please? Oh, yeah, Jason Christopher. Yeah, I watched a video by, hey, M. Hobbs, by the way, but I watched a video that, um, you know, Mundy put out about Jason Christopher. And when I saw his reactions, like in his old, it was like an old video of his, I realized he was being paid that he's a liar. So, I mean, just for me, anybody who wants to watch him is fine with me, but just for me personally, it, like hurt my feelings. It just hurt my feelings. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, my bed looks comfy. Thank you. I made that cover for it. <sighs> it's kind of messy. My husband just woke up and went to work. He tried to remake it, but he is a man after all. Scott Baylow said, I knew deep down it was coming eventually, but I guess I wanted to believe there were some groups and that we weren't alone. I know. But that's the thing. It's like pro-intel. You know, it's like some somebody programming from the inside. And if you think about it, like when he's live, and I see it especially like when he does those call-in shows, people talk and he's just like, like he can barely focus. And he reminds me of somebody who you talk to on the street who's, who doesn't understand the way reality works. I love one says, Martha, I just noticed that you have beautiful hair. It looks like Dorothy. <laughs> Thank you. I just have, it's really curly. It's like super curly. Let's see. Let's see. M. Hobbs says, I'm like you, Martha. It's such a hard lesson to know that others don't feel the same. Yeah. Yeah, I just like totally, I, I always think people are good. I always think I, that I can trust them because we're both human, you know? Oh, sorry, I'm trying to sit on my foot because I'm so short. But um, I just want to believe that that people are good. And when I find out they're not good, it's very disappointing to me. <laughs> and he might be a good guy. He's just doing his job, you know? Poppy says, we will find the truly affected. Yeah. Skookum says, if we are a threat, it would make sense. Maybe we are a threat. I think we are. Because the more people that, um, that really wake up and connect, the more dangerous it is for the matrix. I think sometimes if enough of us wake up, sometimes I wonder if, if enough of us wake up and connect with one another, if it, um, kind of blows all this up in a way. I don't know. It's just an idea I have. I'm not really sure about it. I think if everybody knew this realm couldn't exist somehow. I'm not sure why I know that. I just, that's something I think. Corey J says he can't talk in the topic. He doesn't understand. He just says, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. That's really interesting. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Hmm. What did Lynn say? Scott Bailey, I prayed for a group of people like I talked to about all this with. Oh, you, well, I mean, Lindsay, you're definitely an answer to my prayers too. Just to have like, other people that you feel like understand you is very important, you know, because I mean, we're so disconnected in this society, the way it is. People are just so disconnected from one another. And it's really, you know, it's heartbreaking. 
know, if you think about like the past that we're told about, you know, people lived in like cooperative communities. Even when I was a kid, um, on the weekends, all the moms would, you know, in our neighborhood, a lot of the moms would like talk to each other and, you know, have coffee and the kids would play together in the yards, but it's just not like that anymore. Like I go into my house as fast as possible to avoid the person next door because I'm kind of fearful, you know, that's the thing. Like the world programming, part of it is they, they want you isolated and fearful and consuming. I mean, does anybody really talk to their neighbors anymore? You know, it just seems to cause trouble. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, Poppy Elm says we are a threat. I agree. Scott Baylor says, same here, Martha, but the deception totally turns me completely off to the people. Once they lie, that's it. Yeah. Once someone, I think someone's a liar, I'm just like, hmm. the third wall will disappear. Be careful who you trust. That's true. And I'm, I'm bad. I'm one of, I'm a really, gu I'm a gullible person too. Like if somebody tells me something and they're joking, I'm like, really? <laughs> people get me all the time. Like at work, they'll tell me something and I'll be like, oh. Like the other day I came in to work and as soon as I came into the door, my boss was like, Hey, Martha meet so-and-so this is the new owner. And my face, I was just like, Oh, you know, I, I was like, well, I'm very pleased to meet you. I was shocked. And they all started laughing. It was his brother and his brother's wife. I mean, they were just playing a joke, but I believed them instantly. And I'm just like that. I just believe people. Hmm. Corey Jade says, I expect the worst from people and have a hard time trusting anyone. I think it's helped me in that way. Yeah. Goddess of the Four Winds says, I, I honestly need you guys. We need you too, Goddess. And then let's see. Corey said, it's sad. It's a sad way to be at times, but it's really helped to stop me from getting hurt. Yeah. Meditation Man says, I hope everyone is doing awesome tonight. We are Meditation Man. I hope you're awesome as well. Awakened. Glenn Mink says, Jacko, you are surrounded by those you can trust now. Yeah, I think we can trust each other. Like when I look at Glenn Mink, I know I can trust him. I recognize him. I don't know why, but I do. <sighs> Alone One says, I don't know if it's a matter of trust, but it could be. I just don't like putting myself out there, so to speak. And that's okay. My husband's a person like that. He doesn't, he, like he would never do this. He could never work the job I do. He could never be in sales. He, you know, he likes to isolate. He's not very comfortable with people. Lindsay says, oh, that's sweet, Martha Jane. Validation is so necessary. I never had anyone like that growing up either. My mom didn't have friends, was too busy working and not friendly. My mom was a socialite, so she was always had tons of people around the house. We always have we had tons of parties and stuff. And Poppy Elm says we all need each other. I'm so glad we found each other. Me too. Goddess of the Four Winds says I rarely talk to my neighbor, and it's usually because I have some kind of complaint. <laughs> Where was I? M. Hobbs says, working slave mode, fear mode for them, and isolated to, and isolated to avoid having meaningful convos with others. Yeah. Well, see, I always feel like people are trying to draw energy off of me. Like, if I'm around somebody too long, I get exhausted. If they tell me a traumatic story, I'm just, I start to vibrate on the inside, and it's just too much for me. I really feel like people steal energy from me constantly. Hmm. Lindsay says once trust is broken it's very hard to get back <laughs> I am super gullible but I'm a true dumb blonde yeah <sighs> I don't know people people always ask me you know are you blonde or a redhead I'm like whatever 
goddess says, I did make an effort to check on her last time, but it was part of my plan to find out when they were going to move, so I'm bad. Hmm. Skookum says, in what universe is making fun of someone's trust in you is funny? I know, I don't, in this one, I guess. Oh, Glenn Mink said, I just dozed off and drooled and dropped my head into my bowl of electric goo. You know, I use, <laughs> I use one of those um, things that uses electricity to separate like the um, alkaline water from um from the other water it's a um it's an ionizer and it uses electricity and like part of the stream that comes out like we use for cleaning and the other part that comes out we use for drinking it's supposed to like raise the ph of the water and make it alkaline I paid a lot of money for it <sighs> hey transmissions forever i saw your um comments thank you for your comments and i like those links that you put on there <laughs> Lindsay is like, oh my goodness, are you charged up now? At Glenn Mink. <clears throat> Let's see. Glenn says, thanks, Martha, and I agree of having memories and trust you as well. I don't know. There's something about you. I can't put my finger on it. Like when I see your face and you talk, it's like I know you from somewhere. <laughs> I know that stuff looked pretty scary in the water. Alone one says, both my parents were well-liked and very social, but when it came to us children, they wanted us to sit down and shut up. So nobody would, yeah. Yeah, my mom wasn't very loving. I can remember like trying to hug my mom as a little kid. And she'd be like, I'm hot. Get off of me. <laughs> Poppy Elm says, negative blood types feel that drain around positive sometimes. I have a positive blood type. I don't have a negative RH. My mom does though. Um, and she had to have blood transfusions. Let's see. You know, Monday says, glad to see you're more happy than yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, I was exhausted yesterday. I had to run around and do errands today, but at least I didn't have to work and get my uh, energy drained by customers. Selling jewelry is, the people are just real special, you know. I mean, you know, I mean, they're coming in to buy like $40,000 rings. I mean, they want all of your attention and they're very, they think they're so glamorous and wonderful and you have to pretend like you love them and it's, it's exhausting. You know, especially around Mother's Day, men coming in, they're like, I just need something. So I'm just running all day. <laughs> Lindsay V said, I got that a lot. Sit down, shut up, look pretty. Yeah. M. Hobbs, energy vampires, they go skipping off and you feel emaciated. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I get strangers coming up to me all the time, like, telling me all their problems. But that's okay. I think that's probably what I'm here for. Ooh, Transmissions Forever says he uses an ionizer too. Awesome. I believe in it. Some people say it's bullshit, but. Dark Wolf 10 says, Uni, I'm mad at you, bud. But why are you going to ruin one of the biggest guests I've lined up? What? You better not be bad at Uni Monday. That's my friend. Okay. Oh, hey, Rationally. Glenn, yeah, I feel like I know him from somewhere, too. I do, too. There's something about him. I just, I cannot put my finger on him. It. It's crazy. Skookum says, so you are the positive and negative. Is that true? Can that happen? You can have positive and negative? I know she had to take all kinds of medications and have blood transfusions when we were little. 
my kids were not. Thank God. I didn't have any problems having children. Okay, Transmissions Forever says, you need to close your solar plexus chakra to be free from energy vampires. Really? Sometimes I can almost, because I, I can see light coming off of people. I can see colors and light. And sometimes when somebody's really draining me, I can look down and almost see a connection between us. And I'll just take my hand and break it. Kind of break it up a bit and back away. Okay, let's see. Scott Bayless says, yeah, people are assholes just because they're spending a dollar. They think you, they own you. Well, they do in that moment. I've even had like... Um, when I first started this jewelry store, like my third day, this old man came in and he tried to buy me these sapphire earrings. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> so I get that sometimes. And he's like, well, you know, he said beautiful, a beautiful lady needs beautiful earrings. And I was like, well, you know, I don't know. I don't think my husband would like that too much, but thanks. I was like, I'm flattered, but. Transmissions forever. Please explain. I'm familiar with chakras. Just did a video on them. Yeah, that does sound interesting. Transmissions forever. Positive is a dominant. Hmm. Okay, it says positive is dominant. So she is a minus, minus, you're a plus, minus. I don't know what that means. That sounds interesting, interesting though. Skookum says, no one offers me jewelry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get some Looney Tunes sometimes. I'll tell y'all a crazy story from when I was um, younger. When I first got out of bartending school, um, I didn't have, like, steady income. So I would um, do these temporary jobs to make extra money. Like, if a bartender was going to be sick or on vacation, I went to a bartending school. And they did job placement. So they would uh, call me up and just say, hey, you know, do you want to work at this restaurant for one week? And I would do assignments like that sometimes, you know, because I was still trying to, like, build my name. I mean, because in New Orleans, at that time, the businesses were only owned by about 12 families. So I hadn't gotten in good with anyone to get real steady income. So um, I used to... I went to this place and I was there for a little while, like for maybe two weeks while some, while they were trying to hire a permanent bartender. And um, this guy would come in and he would just pay all this attention to me. He would over tip me. And at that time, my husband would come watch me bartend because I mean, it's dangerous where I worked and, you know, I would get off at, of work at like four in the morning. So one day um, Joe was not there. And they used to pay for us to park in this lot because you can't really park on the street where it was. And so I went into the lot and that guy, and I looked, and I had two flat tires. And that guy popped out of nowhere and was like, oh, you have flat tires? Do you need help? And I just freaked out and ran back to the bar. I mean, I get stuff like that a lot. And then, um, so then my husband came for the next couple of days and they finally, the guy came back and I pointed him out and the bartender, not, not the bartender, the bouncer and my husband like kind of pulled him out of the bar. My husband came back a little while later and he was like, I have a present for you. And he gave me like the guy's teeth. So that's when I knew Joe was the one. I mean, I knew he'd do anything to protect me. All right, let's see what they Nina Monday at Dark Rolston. I know you're kidding because three weeks ago he asked Scared to pay $60 per hour to talk and Scared show. The only person in the entire community to ask for money to go live. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
two jeans. Hmm. Dark Wolf Stin says I'll be back, hopefully. That's real scary. And Uni's saying, no, he has scare. He has for money to scare. Hmm. Awaken Glenn Meek says, seriously, seriously, it's all coming clear in its right time. I think you also look different this evening. Maybe we're all getting charged and amped up. How do I look different? Yes, yeah, scared to pay him. That's not good, y'all. <laughs> Alone one says, I know a lot of people are having a hard time with the Mandela effect, but to me, it has added some excitement, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it leads. I'm just hoping Jesus comes back. I, I'm hoping that's what it means. Transmissions Forever said, this area of the stomach is like a valve. Just do this in your thoughts. Say, I will close my stomach area. And it's done. Hmm. And then he retracted it. Let's see. You know, Monday. JK asked for Scarab's money. $60 per hour. It's recorded on Scarab's live stream. That's crazy. Emma Hobbs said, I just had deja vu over that teeth story. Yeah. That's my, that's my baby. And I don't know why I thought that was romantic. I still do. Poppy says he was stupid enough to ask on a live stream. Glowing Martha. Thank you. My, my energy's up. Yeah, we're about to, I mean, I don't know if we just shifted or we're about to. Like, the energy is, like, really charged in the atmosphere. I'm hoping I start, don't start um, rainbowing. I don't seem to be affecting my um, my camera. It did go out the other night. Remember, I don't know if y'all anybody was... I don't know if any of y'all were on here, but it just like kind of popped. My camera went off, but. Transmissions Forever says, Lindsay, we can chat one day if you'd like. Oh, that's cool. I wish you'd do a video about it. Even if, you know, even if you don't want to be on camera. JK asked, scared to pay him money. Hmm. Glenn says, your eyes, you have a glow, and it's obvious you're in a positive place right now. Thank you. Yeah, my eyes are, like, really vibrant today. Somebody came up to me and said, um, your eyes look like the earth today. I was like, thank you. That's very nice. <clears throat> Scarab seems to be a rather popular figure in the ME group. Hmm. Poppy says yes, Chloe. Thank you, Poppy. That's nice. Corey said you do look different. Your eyes are brighter and bigger. I thought your eyebrows were high or something. <laughs> I don't know. Corey Jade, sixty dollars per hour to go live. The price. The price of JK. Hmm. Transmissions Forever says, not tonight, but tomorrow, email me and do a hangout. Ooh, I would watch that. That would be awesome. Energy is amped. Don't feed distractions. Stay positive. Yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. I don't know. Lynn's V says, we're getting changes to her neck and mouth. I feel my face is changing. Maybe so. I wonder what the Schumann resonance is doing. I wonder if it's still high. Let's look it up.
Where's the Russian one? There it is. Well, it's not so bad. If this is recent, I can't find that. Um, I need to just put a shortcut on my, um, whoa. It's like red. That's really crazy. I wonder what that means. Because, you know, a lot of times when it's really, um, it's really high, it's like, it looks white. Whoa, that's crazy. I've never seen it look like that. Okay, that was just that site's representation. Yeah, it looks like it's calming down again. I don't know. You hear my daughters in the background being rude to one another. It's not very nice. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Poppy says the human is very active. Corey Jade says, I get a weird feeling about Scarab. I don't really watch his stuff. I used to watch him a long time ago, but um, when Brian McFarland's name changed, I couldn't watch him anymore. And then, I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but there's just something about that. It, it just kind of, I don't know. And then, there's something about him. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I just stopped watching him. And then, I liked Scarab, but then, his chats got so huge you just felt kind of lost and there were a couple of things that um that he put out there and I tried to show him some things and he just I didn't get a really good response from him like he seems kind of argumentative and I was just like oh well so I stopped watching him mm -hmm. Wake Up News said, yes, I told Brian McFarlane named Chase, yeah. Yeah, that feeling. Yeah, it's like um, I can remember um, being little and a man was walking up the driveway and, you know, my mom was telling us to go inside and she went inside and he was banging on the door. He was just some crazy, like, I don't know what was going on. But she told me, she was like, did you feel your gut dropped when the guy was walking up? And I was like, yeah. She said, always trust that feeling. And I always have. Like when I have a bad feeling about somebody, I just leave them alone. <laughs> but see, MA's name changed for me. I remember my husband and I were, I was like, why is it? Because we were searching for Mandela affected with an E. Um, something went on with our YouTube, like on our television, we have like a we have like a fire stick. And um our YouTube like got updated and all of our suggested videos kind of went away. So we had to like search for people again. And, um, and I was like, she's not coming up. And then we were looking at something else. I'm like, there he is, but it was affected with an A and I was just like, mm. 
but then his logo was still the same. So very strange. Flemming says, I have no problem if effective people want to post on my channel their findings. It's all about us. Yeah, I don't really care either. <laughs> Something's definitely happened to him changed overnight. Yeah. M. Hobbs says, I don't want to pronounce that because I'll probably mispronounce it, but um, some type of mushroom is um, supposed to be good for pineal gland health. I'm going to write that down because I have a um, tumor in, um, in my pineal gland. It produces prolactin, though. It like, Well, it makes my body produce prolactin, so I don't have to take medication for it. But it just meant that, you know, makes me have... Makes me able to nurse. I'll say it like that. GA. I'm going to look that up. Thank you, M. Hobbs. <laughs> Scott Baylor says, I asked McFarland about five times when it happened and he didn't respond once. And Goddess of the Four Winds says, I sent him a couple of emails we didn't send, but didn't send video evidence or whatever, so I just gave up. Yeah. Wake Up News says that one time I felt he was getting lost in the effects of moving away from the Bible. Yeah. I mean, I remember it being, I don't know what it is now. I get confused about it, but I remember his name changing. Brain cancer issues. Well, it's like, I don't think it's cancer. It's a tumor. Skookum, Skookum says, I've only been on YouTube for a month. Really? <clears throat> I don't know if it's Mick or Mac now, but I know it changed. Yeah, it was McFarland and now it's like McFairlane or something. <clears throat> I don't remember. Okay. Wake Up News says it's Mac Fairlane now, but it was McFarland. McFarland. I said, where's the D? Yeah, Poppy, you probably had a long day. You get, you've still got really small kids. My mom still says McDonald's. She's like, you know, we'll go down to the McDonald's or we'll meet at the McDonald's in Hattiesburg. My mom sounds kind of like Scarlett O'Hara, though. Wake Up News says, no, it was always in UK McDonald's. <laughs> they don't call it the Big Mick. They call it the Big Mac. <laughs> Glenn Mink, <laughs> poor thing. I'm going to listen now and go to sleep. Big day tomorrow. I have to be up in three hours. I love you too, Glenn. Toward schools, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Alone one, Martha. I know no one knows for sure 
But what sits best with your spirit as far as what caused the Mandela effect? <sighs> for me, I'm sorry, guys, but for me, I think, um, I think there's like, um, I think there's multi layers to reality. And I think that um, just over time, through people communicating with other dimensions, um, it kind of changes things. You know, I think it's, I think it's reality is layered. I don't, I don't, I don't personally subscribe to the belief that, um, you know, we were transferred to another timeline. I don't think it works. That's just my personal belief. I mean, I could be wrong. And I mean, I will admit it if, I, if I'm wrong, but <clears throat> I think it's like an interdimensional issue. And I think that people communicating with demons and things like that. Um, I, I think what they're doing is they're commun. I think people there are people out there who communicate with demons, and I think that the demons um, teach them these technologies, like um, computers and CERN and things like that. And I think that um, it's my personal belief that through that they're trying, they kind of realize that we live in an organic matrix, and of course the demons have always known that the fallen angels. Well, not the fallen angels, but the Nephilim, the fallen angels, whatever you want to call it. These disembodied demon spirits that live in a dimension that we cannot see. And um, I think they use things like the D-Wave computer. I think they use CERN um, to communicate with these things because they're trying to reverse engineer what we live in. And so I think that, you know, just like if you're at war and, you know, you have to abandon your camp. The enemy is going to come in, grab your weapons, and, and try to recreate them by taking them apart and studying them. And I think that that's what there's a group of people here that do that. And I think it caused the changes because it's like overlaps. You know, I believe that it's it's layered. And I think that sometimes, and I think that's why people wake up at different times, like you know if a song is changed, I can hear it, I can hear it changed. And then I can go back and hear it unchanged. Or I can hear it changed, like standing in the same room with somebody else, my husband, he can hear it one way, I hear it another. It's because we're like vibrating on different frequencies. Or if I sit there and I think about the past and I put myself there, I can hear it the old way. And then if I bring myself back to the present, I can hear it the new way. I mean, I have this belief, I think that demons are low vibrational beings, but I think that they're, I think that time is not what you think it is. I think it's kind of circular, like there's no beginning, there's no end really. And I think that the past can be changed by changing the present. So, I mean, that's what I think causes the Mandela effect. That's just my personal opinion. It's almost like there's a, um, like a frequency, like a, um, like a consciousness or a, or a vibrational or energetic, like super highway, so to speak, that's above where we live, you know, and that we all kind of tap into that and connect to each other. We connect to God that way and we communicate with each other that way. And I think when you sit there and push through and try to communicate with demons and archons and these fallen angels, so that they can corrupt us and um, give us these technologies we're not supposed to have, this forbidden knowledge we're really not supposed to use, it causes changes. It's, that's just what I think. That's my opinion. But I don't think, you know, when people say, oh, I was on this arm and now I'm on that arm, like Sagittarius and Orion arms. I, I mean, I think all that's bullshit anyway. I mean, I think it's a never ending plane. I don't think that we live on a planet. Um, I don't believe in that. I think stars are alive. I don't think that um, you can travel to space. That's just my, that's just where I come from. That's my personal belief. And I know, you know, I'm, I'm hoping people don't, you know, stop speaking to me because of that, but that's just what I think. You know, I believe in the spiritual realms. You know, I believe the stories that I was taught as a child that, 
you know, the angels fell from heaven and mated with humans. You know, my parents believe that's where our bloodline comes from. So, I think it's true. I don't know. So, I mean, I think that's what the Mandela effect is. I think some of it's communicating with you. I think it can be good. I think something, I think some of it, I think it's good and bad. Like some of it is communications from God. Some of it's communications from the devil, from Lucifer himself. I think God separated himself to make Lucifer. I think if he destroyed Lucifer, he would destroy himself. That's my personal belief. So I think that's why he, we were born at this time. He spoke our name before we were born. And he brought us to this existence to all come together and change Lucifer and bring back like a peace and a balance. You know? I mean, I personally used to be plagued by demons when I was little, but I used to pray for them and, and communicate with them and, and try to be loving towards them. And then I keep my vibration high so that they can't interact with me anymore. You know, I had a hard time when I was a little kid, but I mean, I think that, I think that's what has to happen, you know, in order to restore balance to all this, you know, you got a demon plaguing you, forgive that demon, love it vibrate high teach it that to c go back to the lord this is my personal belief i don't know sorry i went off on a tangent <laughs> i don't know that's just what i think <laughs> i don't know Good night, rationally. Hopefully, hopefully she likes me still. Okay, she does. She says, love you, Martha. Wake up news says I don't either. We have always been here. Maybe. I mean, I could I can subscribe to that. <laughs> Scott Baylor says, Martha, I forgot to tell you that I finally watched Chick early this morning and that she is awesome. Yeah, she is really awesome. I really like her. Wake up news says yes, a frequency change. Good night, Poppy. Everything has a frequency, yes. Even inanimate objects. Lynn says, I have a thought I have a thought about timeline like that as well. And also that we can tap into different dimensions by the decisions we make. Oh yeah. That happens to me a lot. I hear a new thing and it starts to give me kind of a dissonance with what I already knew. I start getting confused, yeah. Yeah, wake up new says stars are angels. I believe that. I believe they're alive. They're not like places you can go to. They're not distant suns. I just don't, I mean, I just personally don't believe it. I mean, but if I'm proven wrong, that's fine. That's fine with me. <laughs> Lens B says you're inside my head right now. Guys at the four winds, I have to stop and clear my head to remember what I believe has always been true for me. That's true. I mean, whatever's true for you, that's cool. Colleen says I'm on the same page about space. Yeah, and so I, I think it's all bullshit. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Alone one says, Martha, thank you for answering. <laughs> At this point, there's there's no proven right or wrong. That's true. Oh, Patrick told me to shush. <sighs> Good night, Lens. 
I will. I will have a good day. <laughs> Scott Baylow, what asshole would stop talking to you because you're a very correct opinion? You never know. I mean, some people, I mean, that might offend, like that belief might offend some people. I don't know. Or they just might go, oh God, she's a lunatic. That's all right. Yeah. So, oh Lord, it's twelve ten. I don't even know what I have to, time I have to get to work tomorrow. I have no clue. I think it's nine. Hmm. I need to go deal with rich people. But I'll tell you, there's like a um. Like a five carat sapphire ring. I mean, not sapphire, emerald ring at my work. <gasps> I've, I try it on every day. I love that ring. If I had the money, I would buy it. As terrible as that is. I was just speaking about the Lord and I'm like, that's one thing I can't get away from. I'm like a magpie. I just love, I love shiny things. I love jewelry. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> Stay strong for one another and we will get to where we need to be in the Lord. I think so too. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wind down and keep crocheting. I started this. <laughs> I had like a YouTube channel um, at one time. I had thought about like doing like some crocheting online and stuff, but I don't know. I might do, if this comes out well, I'm trying this pattern that I wrote. I might um, crochet the other side of a pillow and put it on my crocheting channel that has no content <laughs> that I've had forever. I was going to like be, you know, like I thought, oh, I can do classes online or I was trying to work from home, but <clears throat> that never works out right. All right. Good night, guys. I love y'all and I pray for you. And thank you, Unimundi. You opened my eyes. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love to you all. Thank you for being here. Bye, guys.